Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do these really simple little hats. You can put a pom-pom on the top of that. You can either buy pom-poms from Amazon or you can make your own. You could just wrap the yarn around your hand, around, 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 tie it in the middle and snip it and you can make yourself a pom-pom. Now this one was done with the King Cole's new Jitterbug yarn this one's called dancing they're all named something to do with wham a george michael the jitterbug they apparently did uh, a song called jitterbug and this one is called dancing there is eight all together sure it's eight <laughs> but if you go on to any supplier uh, if you type in king cole jitterbug you'll see all the new yarns King Cole themselves don't sell you directly with yarn. You've got to go through a seller. So if you know, look on Amazon, eBay, in shops, in any wool shops, you'll find King Cole in the UK craft stores as well. You do get it in the USA. You get King Cole in the USA as well. Now, this little hat, this one I did with Cloud9, really, really soft. Both of these are very soft. This one, the Cloud9 is softer. I really like this one. I got one ball of each of the colours they brought out in the Cloud9 in December. That one was brought out in December. This one was brought out the end of sort of January, February. That one. This one is called Baby Breeze this one i wish i would got more i should have got more than sort of like one ball of each one to try it out it's so pretty crochets up i suppose it would knit up really well too now the hat is really easy excellent for beginners i'm going to pop that aside they're really really easy excellent for beginners you don't need to do it as long as i've done it super easy really easy to close off the top and i'm going to show you how to do these now i'm going to do a chain and i'm doing this for my granddaughter abby one two three four so i've done 56 stitches into the third stitch the third stitch yarn over and you're going in to only the front loop only the front loop and pull through yarn over through two loops yarn over and through two loops now slightly turn it if you're in the, this is a treble crochet in the uk and it's a double crochet in the usa now slightly turn it can you see those little lines those are the back loops of your chain so just slightly turn it and on the next stitch on that back loop, you'll do one treble crochet or a double crochet if you're in the USA. So from now, I'm just going to say stitch. So yarn over and into the next one, you're going in to just the front loop. Yarn over, give it a little twist, go to the next stitch. Now don't pick up that line, that belongs to that stitch. So there's your next stitch, turn it round and go in to that little line, that little back loop. Once we've got this row done, the next row will be even easier. So turn it back and go in to the front loop of the next stitch all the way along. You want to crochet in the round. Put your piece down and take your end and you're going to go in to that first stitch put your yarn through that side make sure it's not twisted and slip stitch to join now you can use the tail to stitch that little gap up 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a stitch marker. And I'm going to chain two stitches. Pull your stitch a little bit. So one, pull it up a little bit. And we're only doing two chain. Now right into there, this is not going to be part of your pattern. You put that in so you know where you're going to slip stitch to. You're going to slip stitch to that one. So, so that stitch is at the front. You can see that one's kind of tucking itself to the back. So I've got a front, a back and a front. So this one is a front stitch. So I'm going to do a back stitch next. On the back loop, sorry. So it's easier now. You've got your back loop there. And do your stitch. Then you'll do a front loop. That one's tucking itself to the back. So you'll do a front loop. Just through the front loop. On its own. And then a back loop. Then a front loop. And that's going to alternate the pattern. You'll work all the way around. And you'll slip stitch to there, that stitch there, it's not counted in the pattern. Chain two, and that one is a back. So when you get round to it, you'll do that one as a front, your next stitch, and the next row will be front, then back. So you'll get the hang of it. So that one there was a front, so we're going into the back loop. And then the front loop. And then the back loop. So you can either do your ha in the round. And when you get it as big as you want it and enough for a turn. Well, tighten in the top. You can put a pom-pom on and that'll be your hat finished. So I've got my hat done that I done in the round. Up to the height I want, I'm going to give it a nice big fold. You can do it any hat, any height. It depends on how much you want to fold over. I want to fold quite a bit over with this because it's really cold at this time of the year in Scotland and that's going to make it almost like a little double hat. This one and this one I've got it up to the height that I want. And the two ways of doing this is you can go back and forward or you can go around and around with this one. What you'll do is you'll fold that over and you're good. You're going to fold that over. We'll do this one first. And then cut it off. Now you make it as wide as you need it. Now you can either crochet up here or you can just simply stitch it. Just put that in and you're going to sew the two ends together. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to just zigzag in and around these stitches, in and out, in and out. And that'll pull my top in, in and out those stitches. Just to gather it up. Off. Now you can make a pom pom if you want. Turn it in the right way around. Fold up your end, and that you got a very simple, easy little hat. Now the one that's done in the round, we'll just do the same. This is the one that's done with the jitterbug dancing. Just cut. 
a length off you can pull that back down with this one it doesn't matter if it's inside or outside we're just going around the top because it's already done in the round pull my yarn through just to finish off that stitch Put my darning needle on and these are nice and soft and they're quite stretchy as well but you do your chain so it goes round the person's head that you're doing it for and we'll do the same with this one we're just going to go in and out the stitches just gather them up So I'm going to put a stitch in to hold it tight and then stitch over my little gap in the top. Just a few stitches. And we'll make the end disappear in there. Cut the yarn. And that's it. So it doesn't matter if you've got it out this way or this way. There's no seam on this one. Pull it into shape a little bit and then fold it up. And there we go. I've got another little hat for my granddaughter. This one will be a little bit bigger than this one. This one's going to fit her really nice and neat. Keep her head warm. She's one now. I can't believe it that she's one already. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. There's a little subscribe button there. You can click on that and it's a really easy step to subscribe. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.